Hey guys, we're always trying to do some up, upgrades and updates to the motorhome and always have, you know, tons of these Walmart bags because I like to use them for the small trash cans. And normally I just stuff them inside themselves and stick it under the sink. But I found this bag recycler holder at one of the big box hardware stores. I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember which one. So right now I'm just gonna see if it's gonna be worth it and how many of these little plastic bags that this is gonna hold. So I'm just gonna start shoving and see if this thing can hold as many as I want it to. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think I have two here. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm not sure about my stuffing skills though. <laughs> Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, running out of bags, 18, 19, and I think I dropped one on the floor. Hey, 20, we're at 20. Okay, so we are at 20, and it's getting towards the top, but I think I have room for a couple more before they start flowing out the top, so I think it's pretty, pretty good amount. That's all that I had, so... Let's see how they come out though. <laughs> yep, it pulled right out. So, yep, so far pretty impressive. So let's get this thing installed. So I wanna install this, you know, somewhere it's where it's gonna be out of the way in a cabinet, but you kinda gotta look at the hardware that's included and how tall it is and the width of it to see where the optimal location might be. So I was looking around and I originally actually wanted it on this door here, but after further investigation, you kind of got this inset on the wood and the way that the screws go in, you know, they're, they're medium sized screws. So you got to make sure that it doesn't go all the way through the wood. And then there's a single, entry point down here to hold it. And that was gonna be on this inset here. And we were afraid when we pulled the bags out that it wouldn't attach as well as the two top holes that are outside of the, the inset would. So it was gonna kinda hold it different and maybe pull on it a little more. We didn't think that was gonna be a good location. So I actually think that I'm gonna go on the inside here uh, this is where I originally had my bags anyway. I have a couple of command hooks that I hung them on. So I think this looks like the best optimal location. It's going to be flat instead of here where the bottom part wasn't going to lay flat. So you now I can kind of put it up high. I'm going to make sure I have enough room to stuff the bags in. Or I can bring it down low a little bit. But I think up high because I usually do keep stuff down here as well. But uh, I think this is going to be the location here. Um... So we'll get this thing installed. Okay, this is part two of the install of this bag recycler that I'm going to place under the cabinetry of my sink. So what I'm just gonna use manual tools here. So an awl and a Phillips head screwdriver and then the screws that came with the device. So yeah, all right, so Hopefully everything will go well. So it also comes with this sticky back tape if you wanna use that as well, but I can't foresee that lasting a really long time. So I prefer to use the screws myself. That seems to be more permanent keeping it in place. So let's have an awe moment. Ah, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the awe and find the location markers for the screws here. 
It does have the tapered end, so we can go ahead and screw the screw in and then place the device on instead of having to try to screw it in, you know, with the device already in place. So yeah, let's see. And we wanna make sure that we have enough room that we can stuff the bags in from the top without, you know, hitting our hands on any of the cabinetry here. I'm also trying to find a good spot to where I can still have some room at the bottom of the cabinet here to set stuff as well. So. I think that's probably about a good spot right there. Boy, they're hard to see. You can feel it. All right, the marks with the awl are too hard to see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a marker. Okay, that's better. I can see that. Whew, it's hot in here. Okay, yeah, I had to turn off the air conditioner so we could hear the video, because that air conditioner is loud. All right, well, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Let's go ahead and punch the hole with the awl again. Get the hose started, make it a little easier since we're using a manual screwdriver. Screw in these hose here. There it goes. That's pretty tight. I'm not going to screw it all the way in because. I'll unscrew it most of the way because I don't want the bags getting hung on it, but I want the plastic to be able to catch on the back of it. So yeah, so far. So, so far, there's the first screw. Just a little test. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my Spot is marked good here. Yep. That's about 92 degrees today here and without the air on, it's really getting hot in here fast. Okay. So it looks just a little bit crooked. So I probably, in the end result, I probably went just a little too high on the mark that I had. It's a little crooked, but it'll be fine. Last one. All right, let's try her out. There we go. Well, 
in my effort for it not to be crooked, <laughs> it is slightly crooked, but it's inside a cabinet, so who cares? I'm gonna peel this sticker tag off. Go. All right, well, it looks pretty good other than being slightly crooked, but it is what it is. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video of adding this organizational item to our motorhome. I like it. Keeping the bags nice and tidy now and just don't have them hanging inside the cabinet. So I think it looks better. 